Uh, very good morning. Baie goeie morgen, Malwene om Zanzi. Uh, good morning, good morning. It's 9 o'clock on a Wednesday. And as per my standing weekly agreement, every single week on a Wednesday, 9 o'clock in the morning, we speak to our family, we speak to our members of the UIM, and everybody that has been following us for the past two years, very good morning. Goeie morgen allemaal, dit is uh, woensdag 9 uur. Dit is ons paar minuten wat ons saam kan wees, wat ons saam kan praat en wat ons kan praat oor die week wat was en natuurlijk die week wat kom, uh, waar u ons vraag, uh, vir ons kan vraag, where you can ask us any question, where I can interact with you and update you, obviously on some very interesting things. Maar eerst goeiemorgen, Mary, Nico, uh, Corrie, baie goed om julle te sien, ek sê my altyd goeiemorgen, Rashida, assalamu alaikum, hope uh, all the best for your Ramadan, Rashida, and that everything is going well with the family. Marilyn, good morning. Uh, Marina, good morning, the family. Janola, that's it, my Greek Saburki. <laughs> good morning, Janola, and thank you every morning for those messages uh, of inspiration. Uh, it really counts. You are a little bit gloggy today, because grip, but it's all right. All is right. Nick, good morning, keeping the bluff on the go, very important to us. Uh, and hopefully seeing you soon. Cyril Bonsmeyer, Goeiemore. Helen, very good morning. Andre, uh, Steve, solid rock of our head office. Steve, good morning. Uh, Hans Pick, Goeiemore. Goed om julle te sien. Quentin, Anita. Ja, is altyd goed om met julle te kan praat. It's good to interact. It's good to speak to each other. Uh, I would like to advise you what's happening on the levels of the UIM. Uh, waar ons staan en wat we are doing. Anna, goeiemorgen in Springs. Colleen, very good morning. Uh, Werner, morgen morgen. Hoop is een goeie dag, is een beetje reenerig, hierso. Maar alles is recht. Uh, South Africa, very interesting uh, subject that we're speaking. We're going to speak about, uh, just for a brief moment, about the South African political review. Daar staan ons in die politiek. Uh, political parties, die verskye bewegings en politieke partijen in die land, wat nou allemaal hulle goed doen, dan wil ek een beetje praat oor geloof. Uh, religion in politics. I think it's very important. And then finally leadership. And then I'd like to take a couple of Q&A's. So if you've got a couple of questions for me, post it. I've got people here monitoring the live so that I can make sure that I answer any question, enige vraag, but he will answer there, dear my. Remember those very important email addresses. If you have an email to me, I'm getting back to you. It's been a bit crazy for the past two weeks with council budgets uh, of city and state. Uh, but uh, today we're going to uh, ensure that we answer most of our admin to yourself. Beverly, good morning from Musenberg. Good to see you. Marilise. Daar is sy, welkom, Marilie Zij, dit was jy, daar is jy, dit is Marilie Zij, goeiemorgen, um, uh, let die van vereniging, daar is sy, mens is in die huis. This week we ended what they called the 750 days uh, that this country has been under lockdown. In various phases and in various stages we had lockdown. En hulle toe besluit dat na 750 dae, het die president Soekie Sirrel besluit, hulle gaan nou hierdie uh, uh, levels van disaster en al hierdie goeders gaan hulle nou aflas. It's a very good thing that this country is moving and opening as much as possible. But now they threatening, putting it to us in a very obscure manner, that they're going to move the regulations to control COVID to the Department of Health, and there they will issue some laws that will still control their control over citizens. And I could buy a frog here via where here WhatsApps what dear gun where he means about say, but he start on it now draconis dear dracom to say that the lacanola too slight as you need. Uh, will, will, will isolate me, and so forth, and so forth. That's by experts, Obiri. I think it is very clear that the stance of the UIM will remain steadfast and unambiguous. 
Ons gaan nie twee kante van die story kies nie. Ons story is baie simpel. Daar sal nooit dier ons, of enige ander groepering wat by ons staan, en by wie ons staan, soos die ACDP op hierdie oomlik, dat enige persoon in hierdie land gefrosteerd moet word, om gevaccineerd te word. En dat geen persoon, vir iemand anders te kan kritiseer, as hy wil gevaccineerd word. Familie, ons moet kyk, vriende, ons moet kyk, we must really look at ourselves and say to ourselves, what is a democracy? A democracy allows us to be governed freely, to express ourselves freely, to say what we want freely, and to live in the boundaries of law, but freely. Uh, I think I just, good morning, my Vice President, Fatima Abdul, good to see you, always beautiful, altyd, altyd by my, goed om u te sien, uh, Fatima, een van die persoon in my visie president, wat ook beklein die linies, om seker te maak, dat jou mense rechte, 100% beskerm word, we will not, ever, ever allow, our state, to draconianly, enforce us, to surrender, our free mandate on our own bodies. That will draw the line. So that was the big news. Uh, he could have WhatsApped it uh, because nothing else was said. Um, and where we stand today, the question I want to ask is not what are we going to do about the past 750 days. What I would like to know is what are we going to do for the next 750 days so that we can actually recoup all the losses that small businesses had. Nou, nou, dit is vir my die ding wat verregaande is, is dat hy net praat, as een leier in hierdie land, kom praat hy net oor die vaksien, en hy kom praat net oor COVID. The president does not come on board, get on television, and have a weekly or a bi-weekly update to tell us what is he doing about the arrest of the Zondo Commission. Now, I want to talk about the South African political uh, information and detail that you need. So here's it very important. And you are right. The pensioners of this country, the people that are the vulnerable, the people that need health care, those are the people that the president in actual fact must address. But he just addresses the fact of COVID and vaccine. And that is a clear indication where his priorities are lying right now. So the African National Congress the ANC at this current moment is burning. And dit is gesê dier hulle eie leier en president, Cyril Suki Ramaphosa, het het self gesê hierdie week. Waar hy het uitdrukkelijk gesê dat die ANC is soos een huis wat brand. The ANC is like a house that's burning. What he didn't tell you is that the house is burning, there's no water because the pumps aren't working. The electricity is cut because of ESCOM. There's no fire brigade because they haven't paid probably their staff and the municipalities are in absolute disarray. They don't and have no capacity of leadership on that level. So here he is, I see the analogy for gaan anno brand. There is no way that the ANC in a clear democratic way is going to survive the election in 2024 at the rate they're going now. And now Rachel is desperate. So if you look at the cabal, the ANC, the EFF, KUSATU, the South African Communist Party, and now it's heard that not only can the ANC not pay their staff, the ANC cannot pay their debt to SARS, but now we hear that the South African Communist Party, that was supposed to be diluted when the big wall came down in Germany, next, is a communist, hulle hark ook nog steeds rond en dink dat communisme is levendig, dit is nou laat al die ander communistische lande absoluut platgeval het. Maar ons Suid-Afrikaanse communistische partij kan nie eens hulle eie staaf betaal nie. Where is this going? So in the tripartite agreement between the ANC, the SACP and KUSATU, two of the three can't pay salaries. Now, when you look at that in a political landscape, 
You have the continual fight of the DA to try and make a noise. But when they in actual fact all stood together and said that they are actually a 20% cap party. Het jy gehoor? The political layout of this country is that the ANC without a doubt is suffering and they are going to have a massive loss in 2024. But because they want to still eat from the gazelle, because they still want to rape and pillage the country, they will have to then formulate a partnership. Hulle moet met iemand partner. And it's very clear where this is going. You can make those dots yourself. We then have to look at all the other political parties in this country. And we've got to look at the smaller ones like the Freedom Front Plus that claim they're big, but they're not. They just got to move because the people went ultra right. The people that scored in the last election weren't parties that were growing. They were parties that were shifting. And at this current moment in time, there is time for new blood. That the state for a nieuwe, nieuwe tijd. En ons sit hier so, en ons sit 18 maanden oor Suid-Afrika voor daar 6 maanden is, voor die verkiesing in 2024. So what are we going to do? We are going to have to stand back, look at the smaller parties like the UIM, who said you were small, you were insignificant, but you won in three metros, you won representation. Four, actually, if you look at the one that was taken from us. Now, the absolute political climate in this country is one of absolute chaos. In ons kyk na groepe soos Afri Forum, Solidariteit, en nou kyk ons eeuwskielik in Kaapstad, waar hulle nou uh, uh, Afri Forum wil stig, maar vir die kleding gemeenskap. Dis die verkeerste ding wat jy kan doen. Because again what you are doing, although you are trying to give a voice, you are trying to give a voice for a segment of the population that needs a national voice. And that's why we are sitting where we are today. You are sitting with a UIM that come from normal people that are not politicians and dit is hoekom die mense my volg. Die mense volg my, want in teendeel ek is nie a politicus nie. En as ek wil sit in a raadsaal, en ek raak moerig, dan gaan ek het vir die ou sê op rekord, soos ek gedoen het laas week. Suid-Afrika, ons moet een bykie wegbeweeg van hierdie inherente politische correctheid. It's because we are trying to be politically correct, that we getting everything not correct. Because the political climate in this country is absolutely not giving hope to the citizens of this country. Ons kan maar sê wat ons wil. Ons kan hierdie zebra wat er kleer probeer verf, hy gaan altyd swart en wit terugkom. And that's why the political system in this country needs to be challenged by a new blood, a new group, a new leadership that is going to take this bull by the horn. That will slay this dragon of the people that are trying to currently oppress and suppress the minorities in this country. And that's why dit is ook om die politieke systeem in hierdie land moet verseker. We must make sure that the white population, the colored and the Indian population are not disregarded of your race. And now will ek praat oor volksreg. Suid-Afrika, ons moet begin wegbeweeg om elke keer as die Afrikaner volk, as die Zulu volk, as die Khoisan, as hierdie volkere opstaan en hulle wil hulle Afrikaanse taal, hulle kultuur, hulle geschiedenis en hulle militaire geschiedenis probeer vir eenselvig onder hulle eie volksrecht, maar hulle word dan gesê, maar jy is rasisties. Nou, hoe de hel kan jy rasisties voorkom as jy jou geschiedenis van 300-400 jaar op hierdie oomlik op een plek wil sit waar dit beskerre moet word? South Africa, I go back to what I said. The only way that this country actually can function is if we bring in a federal state. Now, this is not the first time that we have said this. We are a diverse nation 
And this diverse nation has come to the point where it's recognizing and must recognize its diversity, but understand that we can actually speak unity amongst each other. Ons moet begin regheid praat. And the only way to speak is to say that this country, under the management of this government, is collapsed. And now I see everybody using the thing that I started to use two months ago called the failed state. The failed state. Ek sien allemaal gebruik dit nou. South Africa, I have been around government and I've been around the ANC. They are busy burning. But while they're burning, they're taking the country down with us. What do we need to do is we need to say to each other that no political party actually in this country should get more than 51% of the vote. Why? Well, they've had that opportunity. And the opposition parties have had their opportunity. What we as the UIM are asking is in this political system that this party that you have watched, that you have followed, that you have seen does things. In the small capacity, in die klein manier wat ons kan, met die geld wat ons het, met die supporters wat ons het, probeer ons nationaal groei. Want die UIM het een besluit geneem. En dit is ons praat rechtheid. We'll talk straight. We won't go around curbs. We will call it like it is. And we will make sure that the things that we are dedicated to are actually done in the capacity where we are. The political framework in this country is not going well. En dit is hoe kom op die einde van die dag. Ons nou moet begin werk. Suid-Afrika ons moet begin werk, so dat in 18 maanden van nou, in 2024, ons reg is. But we've got to start looking at a different political system. The system we are following today is wrong. The political parties in this country, the new kids on the block, they are all trying to do certain things, but they're not getting it right. I'm going to talk about this thing now that has popped out here. never done about xenophobia. Now, this is not right. It's not xenophobia in the sense of what we're speaking about. We are saying that it's too late om nou to come klaar om to say that there are no mense is van ander lande wat nie hier mag wees nie. You should have stopped them when you had the opportunity at the bloody border. The border is the issue. It's not the people coming in. You are not capable to stop the illegal foreigners from entering our border. Therefore, if we are governing, therefore, if the UIM at the site will shut it, we will shut it. And we will put control systems there that you cannot penetrate this border, but you will have to come through the legal manner. That is the vet. That's the law. There is not a debate. I see now there are people who debate over and they have people's rights. And now, you have to understand South Africa. The majority of the people on this moment who are caught with AKAs, where the people shoot, where the cable is still, come not from this country. Hello, come from the land of me. We have proof. So I am not even going to get into a debate about what is our opinion about illegal foreigners in this country. That it must be opgeteld word and it must be skyped word. But it helps me to skype them, and then every time we let us go to the grains post or to the river swim. I say, cop for them. And we must also be able to skip up that year. Dat ons weer mag nie rondgehaard gepoet word om COVID uit te sorteer nie, maar dat hierdie weer mag miskien op hierdie oomlik grens toe gestuur word. Want miskien kan hulle daar so probeer help en een bykie oefening kry, nee. Want dit is toch op die einde van die dag hoe jy een weer mag altyd op gereedheid hou. En dit is laat hulle werk. The question that we've got to ask ourselves is, after this great promise in hierdie groot beloftes wat gemaakt is, hierdie DIA en al hulle ander besinne, en ons het vir hulle gestem, vir die ANC en die EFF kabaal, wat nou wil rondhaard op, ek kom nou by hulle, 
probeer hulle nou vir ons, probeer sê dat hulle nog steeds die politieke partij is wat vir ons moet stem. Zuid-Afrika, the UIM is coming and the UIM has done more in actual fact in its wards and its areas than what you have ever done. We speak the truth and we need to follow through that truth. Ons het die mense nodig met net dokters graad in. Ons het mense nodig met een ruggraad. En op hierdie oomlik sien ek geen ander partij dit doen. Ja, hulle probeer, maar hulle probeer dit politisch correct doen. Ons gaan nie daarvoor staan. Zuid-Afrika is tyd vir een nieuwe stelsel. Hoe lang sit ons al en ons sê, ons moet een nieuwe stelsel kry. Want die stelsel wat ons nou vir 30 jaar het werk nie. I also call for the change of the review of the constitution so that we can make sure that the laws of this country at the end of the day protect the citizens. Yes, I'm calling for a review of the current constitution that was written 30 years ago with massive human rights <clears throat> in its opinion. But we gave the people in this country so many human rights that currently the prisoners are actually having more rights than me and you. Now, I'm not going to get into a debate. All I'm telling you at this moment in time is that the criminals in this country at this current moment rule this country. I've said it and I'm saying it again. It's a failed state. Here is start at verval. And the reason why I say that is because that all the infrastructure on this moment out of the way Our system on this moment for the way for the way is not right. Ons kinders kry nie wat hulle wil hee nie. En op die einde van die dag, waar is ons? Where are we? Well, I'll tell you where we are. We are ready to change government. We are ready to change government. And the only way that we can change government is if we start talking straight to each other, start telling the truth, <coughs> and not running around. Sorry, ek het maar bykie verkouwe. En dan praat ons met mekaar oor Geloof in politiek. We talk about this thing, religion and politics. South Africa, I'm sorry, but if there was ever a time that we needed the factual light of God, the guidance of the Holy Father and the understanding of that God's wisdom, it's now. So when people say, how do you <coughs> mix religion and politics? It's very easy. God is the ultimate politician. That's right. God and the Holy Trinity of this, of this world is the guiding light of what is just and what is unjust. You see, you don't have to bring religion into politics if you're already spiritually in faith. I'll say that again. Jy hoef nie te debatteer oor geloof in politiek nie. Want as jy klare gelovige is, is jy klaar in politiek. Want wat is politiek? Politics has become an ugly matter. When you say you're a politician or you talk politics, people cringe. They don't see it as something to be proud about. We did that. We did that to politics. We took politicians, saw what they are doing, and politicians currently ruined it for us. But we can't walk away from politics. And I'll tell you why. Politics is how you change the country. But religion, your, your faith in God, gives you the actual guts. It gives you the energy and it gives you that solid rock that you can do it. That's my explanation. So when I sit and we talk about <clears throat> the glory of God, and the energy that it gives me, even if I'm ill and sick and tired, it is through Him. It is through that light. It's through prayer. And it is the system where we can get up. So therefore, we said that the UIM is not a faith-based party. But we're a party in faith. <coughs> Sorry. 
ek gaan dit maak. At this current moment in time, we've pushed God, we pushed our faith out of society. And that's exactly where we need to go back to. Because at the end of the day, what is a family, what is a soul, and what is a country, and what is a continent without faith? So we've got to change it, Rosie. We've got to make sure that the politicians of the future are the politicians of trust. And the only way to do that is to totally reset, restart, rejuvenate. And that's what we need to do. South Africa leadership is where we stand today, where we look at every single aspect of this country. Die mense praat aan mekaar oor revolusie. Ons praat oor oorlog. Ons praat oor looting. Ons praat oor december laas jaar. Ons praat oor, oor, oor moorde wat op hierdie oomlik nog steeds plaas vind op plaas. Oor een van, een van die doodlikste maande in die weeskap. Oor een 16-jarige, 15-jarige kind wat eergestrand doodgeskiet is. Ons praat oor kinders en vrouwens wat voor groot mans vermoor word en ons kan niks daar omtrend doen. Ons kan daar omtrend iets doen. We can. We can do something about it. And it starts with leadership. The begin met leiderskap. You see, if this president wants to be a leader, then this president will leave his office and he will spend the majority of his time in the street. You see, only then will this president realize what truly we are saying. Now, we've been asking you to help us. We've been asking you us to climb on board because Neil De Beer needs to go on tour. We need to come and see you. But to do that, we need your help. We can't do this on our own. It's not possible. You see, all this what ons for you say, everything that we are telling you, you know it. The difference though is we need leadership. We have no leadership in this country. I'm sorry. And the leadership that we've got at this current moment in time is not good enough. So the questions that we are asking, every single day the questions that we get, Tonight we will have an NEC. Our national executive sits every single week. 7 o'clock until 8 o'clock. Sometimes we go until 10 on a Wednesday night. Why? Well, so that we can support. We've got our leadership. We've got, we've got great leaders. We've got Diane sitting in the Southern Cape. Cherise in George. Umkali and Eugene and Mapumalanga. We're sitting with Almeri and her group, Chris and the gentleman that sits all over the leadership within uh, uh, Bloemfontein. We've got Isaac and his team sitting in Kabecha in, in Port Elizabeth. We've got Marli Zay, Monia de Beer. We've got Zenda. We've got our whole team that sits with Fatima and our vice presidency. We sit with them and Kurt, our youth leader. We sit with Shafiq and Gino and Melissa, Pat. We sit with all of these people sitting in their conclaves trying to assist. We sit with good people in the UIM and those good people at the end of the day, backed by our head office with, with Stephen and Cindy and Jacques, our SG, every single day fighting to get somewhere. And we're doing it for you. We're not doing it for ourselves. So I'm asking at the end of the day that you open your mind to understand where this country is today. And you are very, 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 very right, Hercules. A leader is a servant. A leader is a servant. You must serve. And op die einde van die dag moet jy jou mense dien. You've got to go back to the ground. And when you go back to the ground, this is where we solve the problems of South Africa. South Africa's problems can be solved by South Africans. Not by foreigners. Ons kan ons probleem uitsorteer. Maar as ons nie hierdie rasse had, 
hierdie rasse verdeeldheid uit ons uit kry nie. Dit gaan nooit wegwees nie. Suid-Afrika, kom ons praat gauw recht uit, man. We will never be able to cross and kill the fact of racism in the world. As enige iemand vir hulle sê, kom ons vat racisme weg, you're living in a dream world. Because, because racism doesn't have a South African uh, trademark. Racisme het nie in die land begin nie. It's not ours. It's not ours. The real problem of the world is racism in itself. And we as South Africans, we can work towards making sure that although these divisions are amongst us, although we fear, although the current leadership in this country has totally draconianly taken this country and smashed it, we can build it back up again. But we need leadership. What kind of leadership do we have? A leadership that allows theft? A leadership that gives no hope? Een leierskap wat op hierdie oomlik nie sy eie mense ken of op die grond was om sy mense te ken nie. En dit is nie leierskap nie. So, Suid-Afrika ons moet opstaan. Ons moet uit hierdie hele situasie beweeg van donkerte. En hier is die ding, it is up to us. Maak nie saak hoe ek voel nie. Doesn't matter how difficult it is. But when we get up, we fight. Ja, Lynette, many people are fighting. And I recognize every single day the people that are here and there. And therefore, I think at the end of the day, we are the difference. And I'm asking you to stand with us. We've got to rise. And when we get up as a nation... And every day we pray and work, 24, 2024 will be the change of this country. Because in 2024, we are not going to vote to change a country. We are going to vote to save a country. And this is important for us. So we've got to unite. Come and stand some, South Africa. I want to thank you every single time giving me the opportunity for speaking to you about things that are important to us. And you are right, Gino, our great man, Gino from the Western Cape on our REC. Racism is used by politicians so that they can keep us apart. And we can't allow that any further. The two largest problems in this country at this moment in time is crime and poverty. There are many others. But if we don't beat crime and we don't beat poverty, then we have no solution for the future. So let's get up and do our daily work, say our daily prayer and stand together. And remember, help your neighbor. Because if every neighbor helped another neighbor, no one actually would need help. So South Africa, my boodskap van dag, is kijk na die politieke systeem en maak jy self recht vir verandering. Die verandering moet nou kom. Ons moet na ons self kyk, ons moet na ons eie volkere recht kyk, ons moet kyk na ons eie families, maar op die einde van die dag moet ons ook kyk na ons land. En dit is belangrijk. Our future and our children's future lies with us. I also would like to end off by just saying a word of prayer, a word of um, condolence uh, to our ex-Springbok coach, Peter de Villiers, as you all know, I was in Peter de Villiers team's management when uh, <clears throat> we were in the SA Under-21 team. And I would like to just on behalf of myself, my family, all the UIM in South Africa say to Peter de Villiers, we are very saddened by the loss of your wife, the beautiful Teresa, this week. And may God's massive hand of strength, support, and love be over you and your family and to everybody else that have lost and that have lost family uh, our hearts go out to you as well but in specific uh, this week to peter de villiers um peter paid fast uh, god's god's love is beyond anything so 
from all of us, keep well. For the rest of us, I hope to see you next week, Wednesday, where we have a live session with myself and the Vice President. Ek gaan nou nog omkoop met a chocolate, <laughs> Fatima. So next week, uh, we're going to do a different Wednesday. We're going to have a live with myself and the Vice President, and then uh, vice versa on the Thursday, hopefully, as well. So look forward to next week's very important uh, dual live with me and the Vice President, where we are going to sit on that panel, me and her, to talk to you, answer questions, and uh, talk a little bit between ourselves about the UIM and going forward. Remember those emails? Remember to send us uh, and help us if you can help with donations for our tour. Uh, the donate uh, details are at the bottom. Uh, you've got those banking details. Kijk of ons kan help ons wil een gaan toeren met die praat. Voor die rest van die week en die dag, Heere, seen julle. May God bless you and look after yourselves. I hope that you have a great, great day. Remember South Africa first, but God number one. Of course, kijk naar ons land. Love each other like we should and be truly South African. Bye-bye.